So this video is probably going to suck. I don't know, but it's brighter than brighter than hell out here. We got the sun, December 7th or something here. And we'll see if I can see the sight glass. I converted this R22 unit to new 22B. Sight glass looks pretty low. Got a leak, a tiny leak. Six months to leak out, close to that much. I gotta find a leak on this thing. Looks, and it's still cool and good. It's amazing. I just came out. I know it. this thing is gonna leak. Hey world, how you doing? Um, so I just wanted to, but this is just for new guys basically. Um, whenever you're hooking up your gauges, uh, new guys, um, never hook up to a running machine because the machine, if you know it's low on refrigerant, the low side could be in a vacuum. So that's why you always pull the disconnect, shut off the disconnect, then set your timer on your phone for five minutes. Uh, then you go and hook up your gauges and your refrigerant and uh, and then you always want because you're gonna have air in your hoses. That's why the other re that's the reason why you don't hook up to a running machine because you when you hook up your hose you're gonna suck a bunch of air that's in your hose on a running machine if it's in a vacuum. <clears throat> so anyways, so now I've hooked up my gauges and I have pressure on my gauges so. That's a, this is the nice thing about having a four valve manifold. This is another part of this video. This is Testo 557. And a four valve manifold, you can purge everything through your manifold. So your whole, your whole, you're good to go. So what you do is you open your fourth manifold the hole, okay? Then you, that way you know when you let out a little refrigerant out of that side, you know you've let the air out of that hose, okay? And then Okay, you've let a little out of that so, so you got your air bubbles out. And then on this one, what you do is you close it, because now we're purged, air is purged up to here. The refrigerant is good to here, refrigerant's good to here. And then now we just have a little bit of air right here. So what you do is you close this one and you open your refrigerant one here. Okay, so now all your refrigerant has come up through here and it's in the manifold. And then you just, there you go. See, there's your little bit of refrigerant. And that way, that's what's nice about a four valve manifold. Um, <coughs> that way, now we've, the refrigerant has come up through here and cleared out the manifold and all the way to here. So that means there's no air or anywhere inside anywhere there. And so you're good to go to start the machine up. By the time you do all this, your five minute timer should have went off on your phone. And that gives your compressor, because it was, say it was running before, gives it a five minute rest, and then you can uh, turn it back on again. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So it's just a little uh, tutorial for hooking up, the proper way to hook up your gauges and uh, you know purge your hoses so you don't have any air in your hoses to charge a system. Okay, thanks for watching. Click like on the video and subscribe. Thanks. Okay guys, uh, this is, I just started up the machine. Okay, low on refrigerant. Okay. And this is why I tell you that you don't, let's see if I can turn on the light here. That might help but you see how close to a vacuum we're running on this system it very well could have been in a vacuum when I got here and if I had hooked up my suction side I'd be screwed I'd be sucking in a big old clump of air and that would be very bad so we're only at nine pounds suction on this thing so, uh, all right so I gotta add some refrigerant to this little baby so, 
moves. So we got about a 78 degree ambient right now, so the condensing is <laughs> quite a bit low. So we're definitely low on the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna charge it up. We're not gonna bore you guys with the rest of charging it up. Okay, it's the ambient temperature. Uh, looks like probe was a little warm from sitting in my truck and in the case. Um, so ambient's more around 69 degrees. So yeah, there's the ambient. Okay guys, uh, now I'm gonna tell you, okay, system's full now. I'm going to tell you the proper way to disconnect your hoses for this for the new guys or anybody that's interested in using a four valve manifold. Uh, I use hoses that have uh, self sealing ends. Okay, I like these because you don't lose in your refrigerant and you don't burn your hurt your hands. So, anyways, um, I just turned the jug uh, right side up and I just turned it off. Okay, so the jug is off now. So we got refrigerant in all our hoses. This is our ending pressures with our 422B. The cooler's probably about, oh, it was like 34 degrees before I came up here. So I think it's probably around 30 degrees probably by right now. Um, so we got a 24 degree EVAP, 101 condensing. Ambient out here is 69, 79, 89, 99. So we're right in there as far as 30 over on our condensing temperature. Uh, 40 pound suction, 204 head. Okay, so those are your pressures for medium temperature, walking cooler for with new 22B. All right, so uh, 24 degree evaporator. That's why I like the new 22B because your pressures aren't crazy, you know. <coughs> so uh, it's pretty nice gas. I, I really like it. Anyways, getting back to it, disconnecting your hoses and everything. So we want to suck everything in out of our hoses, and so we don't have anything. To, you know anything left so um, what you do um, is you just open up your uh, low side okay so now we're letting that now we're sucking everything in from what's in the bottle or what's in the hose right the bottles off so this one's open okay and this one's open and what we do is we disconnect our high side hose okay so okay so that's <coughs> so now we have 204 pounds pressure in the high side hose still okay so all we do is open up the high side hose a little bit because this side's already open, so everything's out of the hose, out of the yellow hose. Okay, that's open. This is open all the way. So now we just suck what's in the high side hose into the system. Okay. So now, that's why I like these hoses. Because you don't have any valve with an air pocket between it or anything like that. So this is all sealed up in here. So, um, and so there you go. This is all opened up. All three of your valves are opened up. And that means that you only have 40 pounds pressure of vapor. 42, 42 pounds pressure, 41. So, and you give it a minute or two to pull down and <coughs> and if you even wanted to get kind of crazy about it you could go downstairs and or have somebody turn off the pump system down you could have them turn off the liquid line solenoid you know turn off temperature control 
and it would pull down and you only have like 10 pounds pressure and less in your hoses. But this works out really good, uh, having only 40 pounds pressure because I mean it's just, just gas and uh, it's, you'll see there's hardly nothing. There's, okay, so, and then yeah. disconnect like that and so that means that we only have 40 pounds pressure and everything and you'll see okay all these are open and you'll see that was it that's the whole everything that's what you lose from the so you heard it just a little whoosh, and that's that and the testos are being good seem to get better with a little bit of age <laughs> zero after I'm done using them which is nice that's I think the first time I've seen that usually I always have to zero them after I'm done with them but uh all our valves are open for all and uh, I always leave my valves mid seated uh, it's like 10 turns I believe like 10 cranks I go two three four six seven seven two three three and a half turns so you just do a few turns and I keep all my valves mid seated yeah. And I keep everything sealed off. So, and in my case. All right, that's how you do it. Click like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, have a good one. Bye. I think it's plenty cold enough for a walk-in cooler. Man, it's so effing bright on this roof. I think I'll freaking can't see squat on the phone anyways was our 22 sticker gonna be new 22 st new 22 B stickers gotta put them out here too this thing is old if I can read the serial number on this thing I don't think so I know this thing's got to be like 20 years old things like from 1999 I think something like that Yeah, uh, please enjoy the uh, end roll here. Uh, this was I I, I captured the uh, sun. It was I thought it was a pretty cool picture when it. I didn't think it w I was capturing such a cool shot, so I just wanted to throw it in here on the end and uh, just thought this was a pretty awesome little catch. So put it in the end roll here. I think it's a pretty cool shot. So please enjoy. Uh, click like and subscribe if you could and take care. Have a good day. Bye